Hello, hello, and welcome back to Foundation, our medieval city building game. We are here in our beautiful city of Kelir, the town that's blossoming as fast as you could expect. And we are just transferring all of the core functions that our Lord's Manor did here to the Lord's Manor over here. We were making a loss just a few minutes back, but I guess that's fixed itself. We have a new farm here that's already started producing, which is good news. Hallelujah. And uh, yeah, fountain sculpture masterpiece is complete. So let's click on this and it's still zero of zero. See, so I, I don't know. I don't know what it wants from me. I, I have no idea. I'm sorry. So let's see where the new pieces are. This is the new one. So I will delete you. This is the octagonal base. So I will delete you. And I will wait for something else to happen, I guess, because I don't know what it expects out of me. Possibly, do you expect this? Do you expect me to like, let me put two, three, four, five and six and let's see if that counts towards five decorative pieces doesn't seem to i mean do the cypress trees have to grow to full height before they get acknowledged as a decorative piece i don't know let's see it's just five trees it's not like i'm destroying something or making something else out of it so yeah, this wooden bridge, I don't know. Am I going to convert it to a stone bridge or am I just going to delete it? I have no idea. Let's look at our promotions. There's a bunch of unhappy faces I see. So let's turn those frowns upside down. Right. That's all the promotions I'm going to give right now at least so the fountain masterpiece is complete it says um, I don't know why it said that let's click on this it still doesn't calculate those like it still doesn't tell me that those are um, additional pieces to the masterpiece so I don't know You know, we could go on doing that. We could just keep. Uh, I'm going to remove some of this because it's not going all the way there. They're not planting over there, for sure. Which means I can get one more over here. So let's go in here real quick and let's go to the wheat farm and let's get ourselves a wheat farm over here. Now what about extraction? It's only this part here, right? Right, so we need to get some of these areas unlocked as well uh, because reasons. The reasons being I need more trees. Actually, I don't need the trees. It's just I need the space. I need the room. Wonder if this was one of the factors that pushed people towards consuming forests at such a rapid pace. 
I mean, I know that it is a reason. I'm not. I'm not that dumb. I know how the palm oil groves they take over the rainforests in Indonesia and whatnot, and that's because people need land for. Fa- oh my God! <sighs> Bad weather is predicted, which is always nasty. Wait, this was completed, right? I don't have any forages here, so let's get a bunch of forages there. and i think there were two over here that need i could actually use a lot of forages here because we have four here but they just seem to be focusing there are five here right so i could get a bunch of forages here as well so where is the forager now did i lose you did i lose you forager you are supposed to be one of the first ones right gathering huts they are not called forages right so these should be good good enough at least this granary is full of berries all the berries so let's get another granary over here where are my houses this is all outside the territory my god Okay. Hmm. I could squeeze one here, or I could actually get one here. It should be okay. So we can get a granary here, and then we can get like um. We can have houses around the granary anyway, so that's not going to impact anything. That's not going to reduce desirability. So yes we are on course for getting more berries inside jam is on the menu boys jam is on the menu So this has berries fish okay that's weird and bread The berries are at zero which is strange there is an entire warehouse filled with berries right over here is that just way too far for you is that the reason i should probably get like a consumption zone here which might help i think that's what i'm going to do i'm going to get myself a marketplace over here so we will need food stalls because this is going to be mainly food so we will get two food and we will get one clothes i don't know which tent was which so i'm just going to make these two green and i'm going to make you blue i hope that's what it was but if it's not then sure whatever what is missing just i had something selected so anyway so let's go back to residential this is all high residential requirement so let's remove some of these let's remove you from residential let's remove you from residential right so this area is going to start popping real soon there is a monk who is requesting our audience uh, gathering hut is complete which is you so that's good let's jump to the monk what do you need mr monk 50 planks let's do the people now 
it feels so good giving back to all of these people who come knocking on our doors they're like oh poor me i require this can you give it to me and i'm like yeah sure take it we have it we have it all we have it all in our city of khelir wonder if glass is getting stored glass is getting stored we have 77 glass maybe we should start exporting glass that could be good is somebody buying glass from us though uh no 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 nobody is buying glass somebody is selling glass to us which we don't need but nobody is buying that particular commodity Okay so that is complete Oh my god I don't believe how much to the edge of the map this was That's right up at the edge which makes me feel nice actually thinking about it This is also kind of close to the edge cuz the first few times i played this game i never thought i would ever be able to reach it, reach the edges oh this has gold here and it has iron and it has two marbles i'm pretty sure there is another little okay there's the range there should be another outcrop here for sure some outcrop we have no idea of if it isn't it just means that we need to take this moss off which i have no idea how to do promotions are available a gathering hut is complete which should be the last one we don't have enough people for it that's good i mean it's not good that we don't have enough people but it's good that all of our people are employed okay i am not going to promote anybody this time we are going to wait on the promotions now we don't have any forested areas for harvesting So I'm wondering if I should create a forest area over here which can be harvest harvested. Hey, we don't have extra employees, so what's the point right now is the question, but that could be something we should that should be something that we should think of. There's one more guy who's come and joined us, which is good because we need one more guy here. for this so let's give him a job here hope that some more houses pop up here we need three people for the markets other than that i think it's good oh wait we'll need three more people here so we need six people in total and i am guessing there's a granary being constructed somewhere right so there's a granary here that needs four so we need 10 people in total so we have two food stalls here i'm thinking i'm going to get i mean obviously i'm going to get one for the berries um Unfortunately our fish numbers is not as good as I would like. So maybe we won't be getting fish. That's brilliant news. Four people and all four of them have decided to join us. Look at these four go-getters. They came through our city and they looked at it and they were like, "Whoa, two stone bridges." 
two large manors. I want to be part of this city. That's good. It's good for them. So now that the granary is done, maybe I will have to think about allocating something for the granary. So we're definitely getting a lot of berries here. So we can get all that. Actually, we can get everything as berries. So we can have all berries here. So at least berries would be well stocked over here. And this here. Oh, this doesn't have any berries actually. That's good. They have arrived. So I am going to put all four of them here. We just wait for them to finish everything here before we allocate something here. But I want to sell berries here. We could sell berries here too. That would put less of a stress on our let this all be berries. Let's just see how that works out. So that's one person for the berry market already allocated. Uh, we need two more people here and we need three people for our farms. So all that is good and dandy. Four people crossing over or four people walking across, passing by, whatever you want to call it. And three of them have decided to join us. So those three can be allocated to this farm once it comes up because I want to get the farm going right. All right. Truth be told right now, we have enough farms because our output is going to be diminished a little bit, but still I'd like to get that up, get those numbers up. Let's have a quick look at our Lord's Manor, see if that is complete. Seems to be almost done. There's few bits and bobs which still need to be completed, but not anything substantial. So that's fine. Three new villagers have indeed joined us. And there is a building that's complete. The market is complete. All right, that's With the people walking in, joining us. I am tempted to do this. So we have one more free person. What is this? You are a house. You are a house right outside a fountain. Huh? That's lucky for you, right? A fountain just becomes your private little fountain. It's kind of like in apartment buildings, uh, in, in India especially, uh, there, you know, the apartment building in the corner gets kind of like a little bit of extra space. They keep their potted plants and whatnot. And I am going to give you this bread, extremely reluctantly though. So yeah, you have like, uh, is this complete? You are almost complete. Particulous is what we are working on. So they get this little bit of extra space where they normally have plants and they have um, all sorts of things. They have shoe racks because in Indian houses, you don't wear the shoe and walk in. That's considered extremely crass and that's frowned upon. So they get like, a substantial amount of space which is extra just because it's the corner house and so people eventually caught on and now corner houses actually sell for more in India in an apartment building like that's an actual selling point they'll be like oh this house is in the corner you get all this extra space outside 
a corridor it's not actually your space problem neighbors would most likely just complain and they'd be like no you can't put your stuff there cuz it's not your house it's the common area but all those things happen you still get complaints and you still have people using all of those areas oh i was going to remove that but actually i think i can do that now in fact i am going to do that now because pretty soon we can get one more over here right so we can go here and we can go to wheat farm we can get ourselves a wheat farm over here and i am going to remove one of these wheat farms from this island probably remove you uh right there is there are military missions available which is I don't want to take them because even if I take them the money that I get is going to be wasted. But should that actually stop me from taking them? Let me take one with extreme difficulty. And let's see how many people are required to turn this. All right that's an average chance of winning which basically means a lot of people could die promotions are available let's see who the grumpies are uh there's a bunch of you guys and over here there's a bunch of you as well so our happiness is still good uh people seem to like houses people seem to want houses i'm going to zone houses all up in here and then based on what houses get built later on we can reduce the number of houses probably build some parks around i do want to have a park over here like around this area i'd like a park just as you know a little way of encapsulating that bit of industrial it's not necessarily industrial it's not exactly industrial but I used to love SimCity 4. So in SimCity 4 you could just like build trees in between your residential and your uh and your industries and pollution would just drop. It's like you have four trees and on one side you've got some extremely toxic nasty looking green goop stuff that's getting produced with all the smoke but then you cross over these four trees and then it's like pristine air quality. talking about the old sim city already uh, obviously sim city 4 not the version that was released in 2015 that was a massive disappointment i mean the game was nice i was really pumped to play the game because it looked really fancy and you know pipes were integrated with the roads i was like wow it's going to save me so much time but the game turned out to be extremely underwhelming mainly because of the size you know because the buildings were bigger but then the size was smaller it was like this cross between that they they had a version that they released in the middle called sim city community or something so it was a weird little cross between sim city community and sim city 4 So I had a lot of potential. If they made the maps bigger, it would have been awesome. But they didn't. I actually bought a couple of DLCs for that as well. But yeah, wasted. All of that was wasted. 
so things are going pretty fine happiness is at an all time high i would like to say it's at 91 it's been a while since i saw it in the 90s and uh, we don't have reserves as such with respect to food so i'm hoping that the rains stop soon but what we lack in reserves oh it's a three new villages and then it updated it to four somebody lacks spacing for house who are you no no they are victorious that's brilliant who are you why do you lack space for housing you are a commoner a commoner you should have plenty all right this is where you are so you could live here quite easily but clearly you are too choosy there are houses right here right across from your farm there's a housing area which is kind of full i mean that's a thing but still it's there let me just give you more room to grow i'm gonna extend housing here as well because why not I don't want these idiots crossing half the city in search of housing. Because I'm pretty sure that if they're walking long distances, they're not working long enough. Okay, uh, it's time for us to get some more lands. Because we're making too much money. Too much money is good. Definitely good. But... I would much rather have these people work and make me money which I can store rather than just plain have too much money. Where are you? Yeah, okay. So all of you have to go sorry bye bye all of you have to go sorry again bye bye and you guys too same spiel sorry and bye bye so i don't know if we have enough um of the woodcutters here but yeah that's a lot of land that we're clearing off so i could actually get one more over here so that's a bunch of people who came and joined us so let's quickly see if there's anybody who needs workers no but we do need a soldier so we could get one there and let's go here that's all of our soldiers we got a new one so let's go in here and make sure that he has this there's a bunch of wounded people battle history somebody died hans fear died oops sorry sorry about that an envoy is approaching our village this bridge is yet to be completed it needs 20 tools to complete what do they need tools for ah maybe it's the machinery that works the particulars you are complete though that's good so i can move my bailiff from here to here so let's go into parts and let's convert the bailiff's office into a treasury come here and make the bailiff's office a bailiff's office okay now we need to edit some of these things here so i am going to go into edit and we are going to get rid of some things so let's go to parts let's get rid of the wooden tower let's get rid of 
you are there so i would like to get rid of you i would like to get rid of you as well okay now let's quickly jump in here that's definitely damaged our let's make you a treasury let's make you a treasury and the tax office is indeed a tax office oh we need to hire a new one 21 24 15 okay 15% job learning speed all right i'll nominate you learn faster so i guess we get another person for the whatever whatever anyway so let's get in here let's edit let's get a where are you where is the extension a stone main building extension oh you are tiny so let's get a stone main building there hope that connects and let's get ourselves another stone main building like so right let's get a bunch of doors one here one here one here okay i'm building one door for you there and the tax office did we give it yes we did we gave it a door there so we could give it a door here as well so let's start construction so this gets filled out and once this is filled out we will assign all of those to treasuries this is going to be a tax office with a bunch of treasuries let's go to general no actually go here go to the door stone main building stone door this one yeah let's delete you let's edit and let's give you one of these normal looking doors yes what a relief indeed right so there's going to be a bunch of doors around here uh, all of those are treasuries so i hope it's safe i hope it's protected I have no idea though so we have a new military mission available which we could take if we wanted but we are not going to at the moment so we've got two lords manners but this is our main lords manner so everybody is supposed to come here now uh we have a bunch of okay this is painted you are not painted so let me paint for you so this is painted and this is staffed so that's good and uh, yeah so on that note i want to put a quick cut in this video do like and subscribe if you like the content that i'm putting outside if you have any comments do feel free to comment i love reading your comments and i'll catch you in a real quick bit until then take care now bye bye then